This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You're watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So there's a video that Sky Sports put up just over an hour ago. I'll put it in the description box for you also. Go give it a watch. Eddie Hearn is having an interview with Sky Sports. And of course, he's talking about the Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder rematch and how the WBC have sanctioned it, not ordered it. So again, as I said to you guys a few days ago there, when the WBC sanctioned it, there's a difference between sanctioning and ordering. So if you see any kind of so-called expert channels out there who say that WBC have ordered it, you know to avoid them like the plague and never go back. Because you guys rely on these people to give you true knowledge, right? And But instead they're feeding you false information. It's a sanction, not an order. So of course he spoke about that in the video. He spoke about potential Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua that um, Tyson Fury has reached out to him. And of course with Anthony Joshua versus Deontay Wilder for Undisputed. Again, you see he's saying all this, but he's saying that Tyson Fury may not like me. I don't have a good relationship with Frank Warren. I don't have a good relationship with Deontay Wilder's team. But know that when it comes to business, it's professional every step of the way. I will pay you what I tell you I'll pay you when I tell you I'm going to pay it. And that's all about reputation. It's all about if you promise somebody something, then you do it. And if you try and look on Google and anything like that, Type in Eddie Hearn being sued by fighters for non-payment. Barry Hearn, matchroom boxing, matchroom sport. You won't find anything because no matter what you think of these people, they will always pay. A boxer, yes, okay, a fighter gets into the game because they love fighting. They look for glory. They love glory. They love people supporting them. They love all that kind of thing. They want to be champions. They want to prove that they're best. But ultimately, it's about getting paid. It's a job. It's a very dangerous job as well. So if a promoter, a manager, a sponsor, an agent, whatever it may be, if you tell a fighter, I'm going to pay you X amount and I'm going to pay it to you on this day, then you make sure that you do it. So it doesn't matter whether or not you like Eddie Hearn, whether you respect him or whatever. Fact is, you have to say when it comes down to business, one of the most important things is you pay people on time. And that's an ethos that I live by and hopefully you guys live by as well. And it, it goes for every day in your, in your own life. You could be having a, a good time with your pals in the pub, in the bar, in the nightclubs. And before you know it, you feel like you've still got like a bit of energy left. You want to stay out a bit longer. You look in your wallet. You don't have too much money left. You turn to your pal, say, hey, listen, could I borrow 20 quid? I'll pay you back tomorrow. I'll pay you back Friday. And if they give that to you, then if you told them you're going to pay them back tomorrow or Friday or whenever or on payday, then that should be your priority over everything else. It may only be 20 quid, it may be 50 quid, could be however much, but it's a principle of the matter. It's about reputation. It's about doing the decent thing. For me, if I owe somebody some money and I'll tell you I'm gonna pay you on Friday, I'll tell you I'm gonna pay you next week, then guess what? You will be paid next week. You will be paid when I tell you you will be paid. I don't care how busy I am in my life. I don't care what's going on business-wise. I don't care what's going on in my personal life. I don't care if it's critical, if it's mild, if it's in between. You can always find five minutes to do the right thing and pay the person that you promised you're gonna pay them on time. It's about reputation. It's about all that kind of thing. There's too many uh, boxers, um, or, sorry, there's too many boxing promoters out there. There's too many boxing managers, agents, sponsored um, trainers and all these kind of things who promise the world to certain fighters yes okay if you join me we're going to do this we're going to do that and if you fight here I'll, um, you know i'm going to pay you this amount potentially more depending on how the show goes and when it comes down to the crunch when it's time for all the talking and the cowboy talk to stop and show the goods too many people don't do it have a word with mike tyson and his relationship with don king did don king pay mike tyson every penny that Mike Tyson was owed. Have a word with Shannon Briggs. Did Shelley Finkel pay him every penny that was owed when he fought for Tali Klitschko? Have a word with many fighters. Have a word with uh, some of Frank Warren's ex-fighters as to who hasn't got paid. But you will never ever find it about Eddie Hearn, Barry Hearn, matchroom boxing, matchroom sport. You, you just won't find it because for them, they have a business model of reputation first. Paying your fighters is important. Paying your clients, because at the end of the day, you work for them. So they will pay you. Whether the show is a huge success, whether it's a flop. If they promised you 
50 grand, they will pay you 50 grand. Whether that show made that money or not, they will pay you that money. Unfortunately, there's too many cowboys out there who promise the world, you know, they want to be involved in boxing. Yeah, okay, uh, you know, we're going to do this, we're going to do that. And, you know, I promise to pay you this amount on this kind of date. And then suddenly all the excuses in the world, you can't get a hold of them, you can't do anything like that. And then they just disappear off the earth with excuses. For me, there's not an excuse in the world, unless you are dead yourself, that you cannot find five minutes to log on to your app on your phone, online banking, and transfer money. It's very, very simple. So it doesn't matter what you say about Eddie Hearn, he's absolutely correct. Try and find me one fighter who has an issue about not being paid on time by Eddie Hearn. So you can hate him, you can do... You can say whatever you like. And people say that, you know, sport and icons, you're on the match room payroll. Well, I'm not, and I don't want to be either. But if I was, guess what? He'd probably pay me on time. Anyway, with that in mind, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.